Tesla Accessories. Whether you just ordered your Tesla and are waiting to take delivery of it, or you've owned your Tesla for a little while, one of the best parts about getting your Tesla is accessorizing it with all the awesome items to keep it safe and to help it be more functional on your day-to-day -day use. Today, we've got you covered. We're gonna take a look at not only the best must-have Tesla accessories for a Model Y or a Model 3, but we're also gonna take a look at the durability because all the items we're gonna take a look at today, we've owned and had on our Tesla ourselves for the last year. So we're gonna show you not only how amazing they are, but whether or not they've put up to our family of five's abuse over the last 12 months. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Lock It Tech. Today, we are going to cover all the must-have accessories for your Tesla Model Y or Model 3. Not only that, but we've put them through a good durability test. A full year's worth. That's right, we've had our Tesla for about 12 months now, and our family of five, well, our three boys, as I'm sure you guys have seen over the last year, they're not exactly gentle with this. Not at all. No, so we- Backpacks, sports equipment, you name it, it gets tossed around. So we're not only going to cover our favorite must-have, but also how well it's held up over the last 12 months. Which ones are better? That's right. Now, all the items that we're gonna cover for you guys today, we have links to all of that stuff down in the description below. But in addition to that, we have discount codes for I believe everything we're gonna cover today for you too. So we're gonna help you save some money as well. Look, we try Who to get this- love a discount? That's right. We try to hook you guys up and get you guys access to the best stuff but also we try to save you some money. Let's go check it out. Let's go jump right into it, guys. We're starting right off with the best stuff out there. The number one best must have item for your Tesla Model 3, Model Y. This even works on the Model S and the Model X. It doesn't matter if you have a Tesla and you have kids, this is like a must have. Even if you don't have kids, they are all weather floor mats. Now, the ones that we personally use and recommend are made by 3D. They are amazing. All year long for the last 12 months, our kids have been in and out. School bags, dirty shoes, cleats. Guys, you've seen our, our road trips. They usually involve a sporting event. Our kids always have cleats on their feet and they're always muddy, gross, dirty. They carry everything in. These floor mats by 3D have held up unbelievably. Let's come take a look and show you guys what we're talking about. Here's what the floor mats look like after one full year of use. Look how well they've held up. They have tested dirt, mud, snow, salt, water, everything. Coffee, mm-hmm, coffee, and, and not always just by the kids. Coffee unfortunately fell and it was almost a full cup, but I was able to throw a towel on it really quick. It stayed contained to the actual mat. I took the mat out. I actually just took buckets of water and dumped it on, let it air dry and put it right back in and it saved all the floor of my car. They keep this like bowl shape with these rigid sides here. So even if liquid spills on these things, they contain it within and it doesn't let it get all over the car. They have this proprietary uh, material on the back. It's kind of like a Velcro. It doesn't uh, slide, it's amazing. Yeah, so it literally grips on, but it doesn't wreck it when you pull it off. It's an awesome material, it's proprietary to 3D. Go ahead and take a look at what the floor looks like like underneath this. Now that floor is one year old. Other than a few pieces of dirt that came out when I lifted this up, you would never know. That's completely clean. It looks brand new. If you guys checked out our original video when we first bought our Tesla, I will go ahead and put a link to it right here. Some of you guys noted that they didn't go all the way to the edges. They left a little bit of a gap. Let me put this back and show you. There's a little bit of a gap over there. See that gap in there? It doesn't really sit fully tight. Well, some of you guys noticed that in that last video. We have just kind of have dealt with it and positioned it right in the middle. Well, the fine folks at 3D actually reached out to me directly and said, hey, Chris, the reason for that gap is because I didn't order the right ones. So they took care of it. They sent us a new set to put in that will fit correctly. So we're gonna pop them in and show you guys. In addition to that, they have the floor mat set out for the seven seater Model Y. As we have been waiting since the seven seater came out last year and it's finally out, they sent us that too. So we're gonna show you that install. And we also got the cargo set for the trunk for the seven seater also. These smaller ones right here are gonna protect the third row. And then these two pieces are for the cargo area and the trunk. Look 
at the fitment. It goes edge to edge, completely covering the entire foot well. Yeah, clearly I ordered the wrong ones before. Remember that gap that we just saw from the old ones? Yep, definitely did not have the right model before. In the description is a link to the 3D site. When you're going through it, it'll actually give you a drop down to select the year of your Tesla, the type of Tesla, and whether or not it's a five seater or a seven seater. Just order them directly through 3D. It's the safest way to do it. And we do also have a special coupon code for Locket Tech viewers down in the description as well. I guess I gotta go in this way. Oh yeah, these, these fit really nice and snug. All right, now let's start working on this third row. Entertainment at its best. This little smaller tray one goes for the passenger side one. Pops right here, right in between the tracks. Boom, now that's covered. This one is for right in here. And again, the fitment is perfect. I mean, it, it covers the entire well. What you got there? Here is the one inside at the bottom of your sub trunk. We've got cargo mats for back here too. There we go. Now it's protected back here. Let's go ahead and pull up one of the seats. You'll notice that the material folds like this when you pull this seat up. And then all we have to do is grab our strap to make sure it stays up, place it around. And then if you're keeping it down, it just sits, tucks right in there. And now you're completely covered back here. And it's even got the little protector here to make sure that your sub trunk handle's covered. Now, when you wanna get to your sub trunk, obviously you could just reach under and you can still lift it up without having to take all of this out. I have been waiting for this cargo one specifically for a very long time. So this set for the front row and the second row, and I believe the third row as well for the seven seater at least, they run about $270. The set for the cargo, this runs about $120. Again, we have a coupon code for you down below as well. I gotta tell you, if you buy nothing else off of this list today, this is the number one thing you need, especially if you have kids. Next up on our list, and actually the next couple items on our list, is gonna be coming from one of my favorite manufacturers for Tesla items. Everything that these guys make is just super high-end quality, yeah. and they only specialize in Tesla stuff. That's, that's the only thing they do, and that is by Abstract Ocean. Having a screen protector to protect your tech is a must-have. Uh, we've already cracked it. Exactly. So we can vouch again that this thing does its job. We have the matte finish screen protector right now from Abstract Ocean. We put it on a year ago in the video that you guys could check out. It has taken damage right here. You can see a very small chip right there. And then there's a crack that you have to kind of catch it at the right light, but the crack goes right up through here, that crack right there. It goes up and it splinters a good way up into the screen itself. So some people may say, well, the screen protector cracked. It didn't do. No, that's what the screen protector's job is. The screen protector is supposed to crack so that the screen it's protecting doesn't. And that's exactly what happened here. It's much better to replace a $20 screen protector than it is to replace yes. the like $4,000 infotainment center uh, system and screen. So and it's been a year. It really did its job. I would say that was not the first time that it's gotten bumped or anything. So now the reason why I love the ones from Abstract Ocean in particular is because they are literally foolproof to install. They literally give you a frame to make this super easy. So much, we're gonna have somebody else install this one. Oh goodness. That's right. This I think might be the first screen protector you install ever. Is that yeah. right? Even I, on a phone. I'd be okay if I didn't install any. We're gonna show you guys how easy this is. So this is the frame that you get. You literally just put it on like this, and now it gives you the edges, so when you're putting the new one in, you can just slide it on the edge, put it up, and then it'll adhere itself. They also give you a microfiber cloth to clean the screen with, a cleaning wipe as well, and then it gives you some stickers to grab some dirt and dust from. Do you got the basics? You think you got it? You're a great teacher. I got this. She's got this. Put the frame right up. It snaps right on. Just try not to touch the screen if you can. 
You got this. It is an absolutely perfect install. It's completely uniform. There's no edges hanging over. Michelle did an absolutely perfect job, like legitimate, perfect. This is why I love this screen protector. Michelle, how easy was it? Surprisingly, it was not bad. And I was a little nervous about doing it because I know with a phone, I've watched him mess it up, have to peel it off, and then it's kaput and you need another one. So this was a really easy install. So this item from Abstract Ocean, again, link in description down below. And uh, let's move on to the next one. Now you'll notice when you get your Tesla, they did a great job on the, doing the blackout as far as the door handles and the side window trim and stuff like that, but they still left you with a chrome dual motor badge. Here's the dual motor right here. This is a year later, this thing still on there, all the letters still holding strong, no issues. It had nothing has moved, it still looks fantastic. And this is super easy to install. It comes in a foam padding that already has everything spaced out exactly how you need to so literally once you pop these old ones off which are really easy they just you literally take the foam pad and you just line it up you slap it on everything's already spaced out ready to go if you need some install tips on how to get this on there watch the original video we show you the entire install these run about 20 bucks for 20 bucks you can complete the blackout on the Tesla Model Y so the next product has been a lifesaver for me. As I've said before, sometimes these curbs just happen to jump out and get in my way. There she is, Cruella. The rim savers are amazing. They have protected my car on more than one occasion, although I don't really want to admit that, it is the truth. So Abstract Ocean makes rim savers. They make them in a bunch of different colors, as you can see with ours. We chose a blue color here, but they are very easy to install. They protect your rim. They are about $120 from Abstract Ocean, and you can pick the color that best matches your car and what you want the look to be. And the nice thing is, like, when that happens, the rim saver itself will kind of get destroyed because it's, it, it did its job. You can't save it. Yeah, but it's easy to replace, and on Abstract Ocean, you can actually buy a single wheel replacement so you don't have to buy a whole other kit again. is the cup holder here. This is not the very first cup holder we've had. We have tested a couple different cup holders because I wanted something that really would fit. The edges would also fit my coffee cup so that when you hit bumps coming up the driveway or a pothole in the road, I don't want coffee to spill all over the car. The best one that we found was from Abstract Ocean. This cup holder can go right in the sink. I just take it out, rinse it, put it back in. As you can see underneath, Nothing's really spilling on the bottom. So I just take this out, rinse it in the sink, dry it, put it back in. It has a, a nice fit. When you put the coffee cup in there, my coffee cup fits. So check out this cup holder at Abstract Ocean for runs you about $20 on their website. So the next item is just an efficient item of how to keep things in your center console so that you can find what you need. In the center console here, when you push this back, we have the center console tray. It just makes it so that you have things on the bottom, which is where I keep my glasses. And then you pull this out and it's just a nice, simple way. I keep coins in here, chapstick, hand sanitizer, but it's a quick, easy way to access it. Our friends at Abstract Ocean actually sent us the newer version of this, which is slightly different than the older version. So it's the same idea. No matter which one, I find it very helpful so that I don't have to search to the bottom for the little things that fall through to have something in our center console so I can easily find what I need. Check it out on Abstract Ocean. Runs somewhere around $25, give or take. It is super helpful for organizing yourself in your car. So the old version sits in there like flush. You have uh, a spot for business cards and credit cards there. The new one has this uh, 
this removable film. So you can wash it. That's right. So if something spills in there or something like that, it can easily be taken out to go ahead and clean this off. Abstract Ocean also makes a USB hub that you can get for inside your car. Now we don't have it yet. It's on my list of things that I want to get and check out, but it's a cool little USB hub that plugs into the USB ports that are already down in that space to begin with that are kind of hard to get. Yeah, they're all the way in the back against the front. It's kind of hard to access, especially if you have stuff in here. So the USB hub actually plugs into these two and then it's a box that sits right here that on the top of it has USB-C and USB-A ports on here that give quick, easy access to plug stuff in. And this is made to go to work with that because this space right here, that is the same space that your new USB hub would sit. It is made to work perfectly with that new USB hub if you decide to get it. Next up is something that is super, super important to protecting the exterior of your car. Anybody who's seen the channel in any of our videos know that we are big, huge fans of PPF, paint protection film. That's honestly the number one way to protect the exterior. PPF though can be very expensive. And if you don't have the option to do PPF, there's another thing that you can do that will help protect your car from those rock chips as well that's not as expensive. And it'll kind of give the car a little bit of a sporty look. But what we're talking about are these mud flaps right down here. This comes from the EV shop that comes in a set of four. So you get two for the back and then two for the front as well. These things are absolutely awesome. We did a ton of hunting around for the absolute best mud flaps out there. We wanted something that A, was easy to install, B, didn't involve drilling new holes into the Tesla because a lot of them do. And then we also wanted them to look kind of sporty. Tesla does make their own version of these that you can buy, but they're really cheap, flimsy. Like it's just a straight piece of plastic that hangs down. It looks kind of dumb and it's pretty flimsy. As you can tell, it gives it a really nice sporty look. But where these come in handy is that rear fender back there, it sticks out a little bit. It flares out that's in the design of the Tesla and what will happen is your front tire will start to kick up stones and it hits that bottom door panel down there and it starts to put white marks and all sorts of paint chips very quickly and easily. This mud flap stops all that stuff from kicking up from the tire instead of hitting your car. They're about 75 bucks on the EV shop and I'm telling you, they're completely worthwhile. Again, we've had these for about 12 months and they've held up great, no issues. They're still on, they still look great. No cracks, they haven't broken and uh, they're looking pretty phenomenal. Next up on our list of awesome accessories is something that very simple, it's pedal covers. The same pedal covers that you would find on the Performance Model Y, except these are like half the price and they still look just as awesome. These are made by Top Fit. Here's what they look like. They are very simple little metallic covers that go over the brake pedal itself and also over the accelerator pedal. They're made by Top Fit. They run about 20 bucks or so. They're pretty easy to install. Again, the full install guide on how to put these in will be in that linked video as well. We've had these since literally the first day that we brought our Tesla home. So they've been on here for a while. They've held up great. They're still on here, sturdy as can be, no issues. The little black stripes haven't fallen off. I know on some of the cheaper third-party versions, these stripes can sometimes fall off. Hasn't happened on these. Top Fit did a great job on the design of these. Real easy to pick up. Next on our list is an item from Tame. Tame, you probably know because they make like the world's best cords for a Tesla. They also make some other great items. First of all, they also make the HEPA air filters that we did in a video recently where we showed you how to get the stink out of your Tesla, but they also make these really cool phone holders. They match perfectly color-wise, so it doesn't really stick out. Now this one in particular, they make two of them. This one in particular is my favorite. It's called the gravity version. And literally all you do is you just take your phone and you pop it in and as you do so it, it brings this little piece down and all of a sudden it just holds your phone and you can like position it however you want it's got a little ball on the back here that you can tighten and untighten so you can kind of set it to whatever position you want and then when you're done with it you literally just grab your phone 
and it pops right out. It's really easy. It's a quick in, quick out. It really securely holds your phone in there. You can shake this thing around. Your phone's not going anywhere. I mean, it's got the two arms up here. It's supporting it on the bottom. This is a really awesome phone holder. Like I said, you goes in, goes out. It's perfect. Now they also make an electric version too, which is pretty much the same thing, except when you place your phone in here, it triggers this, and then these two side pieces collapse and hold the phone in place. I find this one works best if you wanna hold your phone in landscape mode like this, because then you just set it in and these automatically close, and it does a really good job in that sense. This one I find is kind of my preference if you wanna hold your phone in portrait mode, because it does such a great job. The gravity one I think is about 30, the electric one runs about 35. They even make one that the harness itself, you can position it anywhere you want. It doesn't just have to go on the side cap like this. You can position it anywhere along the air vent you want. The version we have is the end cap version, but you can get one of the ones that position it in the middle if you want. The last item that we wanted to show you guys is actually a new item. So this isn't something that we have tested out for the last 12 months. This is actually something that Tamei just sent us. They saw in a previous video of ours that we like to keep some stuff every once in a while underneath that storage space that's under the seats in the front row. Well, Tamei recognized that people use that space to store stuff and they came out with these awesome little handy bins. This is a, a perfect little bin, but it fits perfectly underneath Underneath the driver's seat. You literally just slide it in. Even with the floor mats, it goes right in there. The front lip of these trays catch the floor risers or the seat risers right here and show you exactly how far back it goes. Now you can move the seat up and back. That tray does not move. Check it out. Tray's not moving at all. No problems there. It doesn't get caught on the chair. It also can still be used with all weather floor mats. You literally just grab it and it comes right out. Easy access to whatever you want to store under your seats. And then it goes in right nice and easy. Keeps things out of view so that if somebody's looking in your car, they're not even going to know that something's under there. Sometimes I keep my little pink purse under there. Strap might fall out. This way I can put the strap and the purse in there, put it under and nothing is sticking out anymore. There you have it guys, our top must have accessories for your Tesla Model Y or Model 3. Which one's your favorite? Ooh, that's a tough question. I have to say, only because of the coffee incident, probably if you asked me this a month ago, I'd have a different answer, but those floor mats were by far a lifesaver for me when an entire cup of coffee spilled. If you guys buy nothing else from this accessory list, those floor mats are a must have, especially if you have kids. Prior to that, it would have been the rim savers. It really is a tough call between the two of them. You can't help it if curbs like to jump out at you. No, they just come out of nowhere. Absolutely. For me, I think my favorite item is, for me and my tech screen side, protector. yeah, it's the screen protector. I just, I've got a thing about screen protectors. I, I do gotta say too, the, I think my second favorite, if I can throw this in there too, is the black badging, the black letter badging. Let us know what your favorite one is down below. And favorite if there's something accessory. that's not there, let us know what that is so we can check it out. If you have an accessory that you didn't see on this list that you think belongs on a must have, drop it down below so we can check it out and bring it to everybody and let everybody know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss next week's exciting video. That's right, we got a lot of cool stuff coming out. We're checking out all sorts of new EVs that are hitting the market this year. The EV market, it's exciting. There's a lot going on. Tesla may not always be gas prices too. Oh Ooh. my gosh, I know. Thanks so much as always for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you in another one real soon. See you soon. Dodger says hello. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> Is it fitment or fitted? Fitment. Never heard fitment. Sure? Pretty sure. You're not thinking Disney figment? No, fitment. I think that's a made up word. <laughs>